This past November, a very illegal and anti-Second Amendment law was passed in Oregon, Measure 114, and it was set to take effect December 8th. Now, my family lives in Oregon, and many of them love guns, and they respect the Constitution and the Second Amendment, and I visit there quite a bit. So this is really startling, not because of my personal issues, <laughs> because it affects my family, but I love that state. It's startling to see uh, so many states around this country just really raining down, like there's just a storm of these anti-Second Amendment laws popping up ever since uh, the Supreme Court made it legal for anybody to carry. Now, Measure 114, which was, again was set to take place, uh, effect December 8th, uh, did three major things. The biggest is that you have to have a permit to purchase a gun. So you got to go apply for a permit to go buy a gun. Uh, so every gun requires a permit. Now, uh, that's the biggest one. Uh, in addition to that, also, no magazines, over 10. And it requires a background check for all firearm purchases. The permit is huge. The permit is big. Uh, this becomes very illegal, very anti-constitutional. Uh, it violates all sorts of federal laws. Uh, so I don't believe that 114 is here to stay. Um, I hope I'm correct in this. But uh, what this video is about is it has now been delayed for 30 days. So instead of taking place December 8th, it's going to take place the first week of January. Now, the reasons why is really a great reason because a lot of people were saying you need to give us 60 days. Uh, to prepare for this because we can't have things ready to, to go on December 8th. Most state officials, county officials, local officials, uh, gun dealers, you know, all sorts of people are like, whoa, that's not enough time. Uh, but it was ultimately, it was the state police that got the federal judge to delay it for 30 days because what they showed her was that uh, firearm sales would cease. They would completely cease in the state of Oregon effective December 8th because there would be no permits issued. There wouldn't be any permits issued because they're not prepared. They don't have the staff. They don't have the technology. Uh, they're just simply not ready. Uh, so it has been delayed for 30 days. And then only three hours after that federal judge granted a 30-day delay because of the state police request, a state judge in Eastern Oregon uh, completely put a temporary restraining order on Measure 114 uh, saying that it violated the Oregon state constitution, which is why a state judge in Eastern Oregon was able to put a stay on it even though a federal judge said no. Uh, because it's two different cases. What the federal judge looked at was the federal judge looked at if it violated federal Second Amendment laws. And she said no, but then she put a 30-day hold on it because of state police requests. Whereas in the state judge um, in Eastern Oregon, he just straight up said this violates Oregon Constitution um, and specifically violated Article 127 in, in the Oregon Constitution, which says that all citizens have the right to bear arms and shall not be infringed. Uh, but, you know, obviously very same wording or similar wording as the U.S. Second Amendment. So he said, well, wait a second, no, this violates not, he's not even talking about the federal constitution. He's saying this violates state constitution. Now, last month was the biggest sale of guns in Oregon history. Of course it was because, you know, there's a lot of people that like the second amendment in Oregon and value this idea that, well, I need a firearm to preserve life in the event of hostility uh, or danger or crime. So the people that went out and just bought record guns three times, three times the, the, the number of guns sold the month before. Um, and I believe this is gonna continue for an additional 30 days. So right now what you have is you have a 30 day delay because of state police and you have right now a temporary restraining order on measure 114 until uh, the state judge says he has a chance to look at it. Uh, so there we are. You know, you got two different cases holding back Measure 114 and 
you know, I, I hope it holds. Uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll definitely see. If you're in Oregon, uh, I'd love to hear kind of what's going on around there, the talk. Um, also, what it's like at the gun stores, you know, that kind of thing, the insight into any of this, uh, please put it below. Um, I know that Oregon attorneys have actually spoken up on media saying that they're, you know, they're, they're against this state judge and they think that it'll go uh, back pretty quick, but we'll see. I, I think those are Portland attorneys who, who clearly love Measure 114 and they're arguing um, against him in any way, shape, or form. So good for him for sticking up for the Oregon Constitution. Uh, we'll see how all this plays out, but again, any insights you might have on it, put it in the comments below. If you like this video, click like and subscribe. Feel called to support this channel with Patreon. That link is also below. But the most important part of this channel is we take prayer requests, so please don't ever hesitate to send that in. Thank you for watching this episode of God, Family, and Guns. And as always, love God, love your family, and love guns.